So I want to ask you three boys a few questions really quick. You got your nice weapons? Can you show them, show them for everyone to see? These guys, yesterday we were hanging out, and these guys made some weapons at, at, at Tosa West while we were hanging out, and they're, they're, they're pretty cool stuff. So here's my completely ridiculous question, okay? When is it okay to kill your brother or, or, or your friend? Never. Never? Never? No. no? It's not okay to kill your brother or your friend? Okay, you passed the test. Everyone high fives for passing the test right here. Okay. What if you're really angry at your brother or your friend? Is it okay to kill them then? No? Okay. What if you're like really, 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 really angry at them? Still not okay? Okay. What about, when is it okay to punch your brother or your friend? No? Never? But what if you're like, like super angry at them? Like, what if they punched you first? Is it okay to punch them if they punched you first? No? 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 Okay. Well, when is it okay to, like, steal your friend or your, or your, or your sibling's toys? Never? Never? No? Never. no? Okay. When, when, when is it okay to, like, mess up their room? No. No? When is it okay to, like, break their stuff? No. All of this is never? Are you sure? Okay, let me ask you a no different question. Do you ever get in trouble for doing something wrong to your siblings? Yes? Well, you all just told me that it's never okay. But you do it wrong, you do wrong things anyway? Even though it's not okay? Why? I don't know. Why do you do wrong things even if you know it's not okay? Because mm. it feels good? <laughs> I get you. Oh, I had I have, I have a brother and sister too. I totally understand. You know, I know that it's never okay to kill. You all said that it's never okay to kill your siblings, but we still make things that result in really bad stuff. Do you think God likes it when we do bad things? No. No, God does not. But when Cain did something bad and killed his brother, and God confronted him, and Cain got a pretty good punishment, right? Yeah. After Cain did that bad thing, do you think God abandoned Cain? No. No? No? In fact, he made that mark on his head to protect him, right? Um, and we find out definitely that God continues to be with people even after they do something bad. That God doesn't give up on anyone, even if they fail sometimes. And even if that failure is really serious, that is part of what we believe, is that God never gives up on us, ever, 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 ever. And that no matter what happens, God's love is always there for us. And God will always be there to help guide us back into good places. Thank you for showing us your really awesome weapons. And thank you guys for coming on up and helping me with the story. Thank you for joining us. Be sure to like if you heard good news and subscribe to stay up to date on the latest message. Peace be with you.